I wanted to put the chat GPT to the test, so I wanted to see if I could combine chat GPT with uh, Aista Magic Cloud to actually replace uh, software developers, human software developers. So I asked it to create an SQLite, SQL DDL script for me that uh, was wrapping a CRM uh, database, and here's the result. As you can see, there are um, some mistakes here. For instance, uh, SQLite doesn't allow for actually creating a database and or changing database after you have connected to it because it's a file-based database, so it doesn't make sense. Um, it could arguably do a slightly better job on some of the foreign keys and uh, things like that. However, in general, uh, this is a very good uh, database. It uh, doesn't create between 10 to 15 tables as I asked it uh, to do. But uh, <laughs> I am seriously impressed. So I want to emphasize that, uh, as you can see here, it's missing the references, the bottom foreign key. So ignoring the handful of bugs, now let's go to Hub, log in and, and fix those bugs by accessing one of our demo cloudlets and just create that uh, database. First, we got to go to databases and actually create a database, which creates a file for us, SQLite. Then we need to enter SQL Studio and choose uh, SQL View. And then we need to fix the bugs. First of all, we had to add references here towards uh, companies. Uh, as you can see here, I wasn't entirely sure about the name of the table. Then we need to remove the create database and use database parts. And then I'm just saving the SQL snippet for later in case uh, something goes wrong. And then I go to the bottom and I click uh, execute or F5. And then I'm clearing my server side cache, and, and here you can see the database structure of uh, what the chat the GPT actually created for me. It could have added the reference from contacts to uh, companies, I guess, which it didn't do. Uh, then I'm generating the endpoints for it. I now have a complete uh, web API wrapping my database securely. And then I'm playing around with it in the endpoints components of Vista Magic Cloud. Then I want to try it out to see if it's working. So uh, it could have added auto increment on like uh, the customer ID, I guess, or company ID. So it, it doesn't do a perfect job, but, but I mean, it does like 80%, 85% perfect SQL DDL script for me. So now I'm inserting into the company's uh, table and then just let's try to simply extract it. And as you can see, my record is there. So now I want to generate a front end uh, wrapping that uh, web API. I forgot to give my app a name. So let me call it CRM and just uh, choose some coloring. And then I'm downloading it. Now all I got to do is to unzip that thing and open it up in VS Code. I'm using terminal window here, code.slash. Then I got VS Code. And now all I got to do is uh, install the node modules. And then write ng-serve afterwards. Now, the point being that by combining chat GPT with metadata and declarative programming languages and love code software development <laughs> automation, you get this. And I don't even know what to tell you guys. Uh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I've seen others uh, do similar things, and it's just spectacular. Uh, ChatGPT is just amazing. 